Hello Starshine, this is Smidar from Song of Stones and I'm here with a circle of incredible stone beings which I'm really excited to tell you about. First, let me introduce myself. I am a crystal whisperer, which means I talk to stones and they talk to me. I'm co-creator of Song of Stones. And when I say co-creator, I mean I have created this um, with the crystals themselves. So, um, I'll tell you more about uh, how to get in touch with me um, later on, but let's get let's get into um, who these guys are and why I'm here with them today. So these guys are shaman stones. Um, they come from Arizona, I believe, and they are. There's a lot that's special about them. Uh, one of the things that I'm going to talk to you about today, and I also want to want you to notice that they're they're um, all different sizes, and they are they come together in harmonized pairs. They're really quite special, and one of the things that drew me to them right now they they've been singing to me and I realize why now as I get to to um, to spend more time and more thought um, about why they're singing now I have a personal set and they started singing to me uh, several weeks ago I just started to notice that one was smiling at me, glowing in a sense, just capturing my heart and my attention. And it, it's been near me, it's been near me for a while. It's um, part of a circle. The pair are part of a circle. I, I'm sure that I will be uh, sharing pictures of them at some point. Um, right now they are in, they're a little busy helping me with um, the co-creation of a star song. And I'm going to take a minute to tell you what star songs are because they're very magical and uh, today is really <laughs> um, going to be a lot about magic. Um, so a star song is, a, you know, in, in simple terms, a crystal elixir, which means um, it's energized water, harmonized water, um, magical water that has been um, infused and imbued with the um, energetic emanations of the crystals. And I have always known them when uh, the ones that I co-create to be a collaboration with angels and fairies and whatever um, elements and beings want to be part of the co-creation. They have been a miracle in my life for me and for so many others. They saved my life once and I truly believe it. I was going through a really difficult physical um, um, project. I'm going to say project. I my um, Qigong teacher calls calls physical uh, issues projects because there there are things that we can work on and there's things that we can complete. So I just love the idea of of thinking of issues, physical issues, as projects. Um, so 
So I was going through a really difficult time, and this was when the star songs first were coming into uh, being. I didn't know what they were yet. I was just, they were just showing me. The universe was showing me about them, and um, anyways, I co-created a star song for to help myself. And when nothing else was working, none of my magic, none of my energy, not homeopathic remedies, nothing was working. Um, these these did. This, this star song did. It shifted me right out of what it was that I was experiencing. And it was um, truly magical. I, I talk about this. I'm not going to get into detail because I don't want to get carried away. I'm already... I already got too carried away with the story because um, the star songs are so magical. So anyways, I am currently um, co-creating a star song with this, with my personal harmonized um, set of shaman stones. And the experience has been profound. And I will get into that um, probably in either the light log post today or in my Sunday Sparkle newsletter. And if you're if you're not part of our community, you're invited to join us. Um, there's lots of benefits to being part of this community. We have monthly live um, gatherings. Uh, there's a Sunday Sparkle every week. And there's also little bonuses and extras that I share only with my community. Um, so anyways, the experience I've been having with them has been profound. And I have been, in these last couple of weeks, um, the subject of hope keeps coming up. And it's not a coincidence that it's coming up now around the time that the star song is in presence and that these crystals are starting to sing. So what does hope have to do with these crystals? Um, let's talk first about one of the, the things that these crystals do, the magic of these crystals. Just one small thing, because... Um, there's so much about them and they look like ordinary stones you look at them they seem you know like any stones you might come across on a riverbank or um, you know in the forest somewhere uh, you might not uh, turn your head twice for them some of the most powerful and magical stones are like that they're hidden in plain sight. They're right there and we don't see them because we're looking for the sparkles and you know the, the, the beautiful clarity and the, the harmony of form that we might not, you know, we might just um, pass these by and not take another look. I've got a, a, um, a lot of noise going on in the background and I'm hoping that you can't hear them, but if you do, I'm just going to trust that it's part of the magic. So what do these stones do? When my supplier showed me this, I was blown away. I couldn't do it myself. I, for some reason, I couldn't figure out how to do it. Um, but I will try again. Uh, what they do is when you knock them together in, in the right way, they spark. And it's hard to imagine that even though we know that there are stones, that there are flint stones, that, you know, um, not the flint stones, the Yabba Dabba Doo flint stones, the, the flint stones, uh, the rocks flintstones <laughs> um, so we know that you know somewhere in our experience we've heard about stones 
you know, or maybe we've had the experience if we're outdoorsy people um, of, of doing it ourselves. Um, you know, we, or we hear of two sticks being rubbed together, but um, the idea that, you know, looking at this stone and thinking that we could get fire from this, is not necessarily something that uh, would would come to my mind. I don't know. That's I'll speak for myself. I wouldn't think looking at a stone that I could create fire from it. It's just it's a it's a really um, incredible thing. I think that we would be able to do that. And um, so what does this have to do with hope? And I think hope is very similar in, well, it's similar in the sense that when you create a fire, really create a fire. And this is something I've just heard about. Somebody told me this, this year, at the beginning of the year, I had somebody do a card reading for me. And they suggested I create a fire, I make a fire. And I thought, okay, I'll, I'll make a fire in my fireplace. I've been wanting to do that. Um, but they said, no, not a fire in your fireplace. Actually create a fire, actually make a fire from nothing, you know, from the beginning. Birth a fire. And I thought, Oh, that is something that I'm, I haven't done yet, but it's, it's something that I hope I'll be able to do this year. And maybe that's one of the reasons these stones are singing for me now. But I think hope is like that too. Hope is something that you have to nurture, that you have to intentionally and purposefully create in your life. And that it's not enough just to create it. You have to keep it going. You have to fan it. You have to feed it. You have to grow it. And I know from speaking to people uh, and you know, that sometimes hope is a little bit too much for people. It's just... It's just a little bit too much. And, and I get it. And I know that there are times in life that... Um, that things can feel hopeless. There's this movie that comes to mind, um, The Shawshank Redemption. I, I have not met a person yet who has not seen it. Not only not seen it, but not tell me how much they love it. And that's the first thing that I hear when, when people, when I ask people, have you seen The Shawshank Redemption? They always say to me, I've seen it. I love it. It's the best movie. And why is that? I've been thinking, why Why are people so excited? And it doesn't matter who it is, and it's, it's a prison movie. And it, it can seem like, you know, it's not, it doesn't seem like you're going to find a, a, such a strong message of hope in this prison movie, but that's exactly where you find it. It's in order to keep going, in order to take each day, there has to be something to look forward to. There has to be something tomorrow to look forward to. Tomorrow or the next year or the, or the next day or the next year or in 10 years. There has to be something that you are looking forward to in order to carry on, in order to keep going. And that's what these guys have been singing to me about. 
one of the things, there's a lot, there's a lot of magic here in these shaman stones, in these harmonized pairs. And maybe you can feel it without even me telling you. Um, but I'm going to stop here and I'm going to invite you because I, I could go on for another hour, but um, I have to go and actually write the, the newsletter for today and the blog post and um, share the pictures of these guys online with you guys. And I think I'm going to do, um, I'm going to share them first with my community because uh, there's, there's a very limited number of these. Um, but I, I just, I want you to invite you to just feel into the energy for a moment. And I also want you to see how different each set is, like from one to the other, they're all so different. And they're different in sizes. These guys are, are huge. Um, and then these guys are, are, are a lot smaller. I hope you can get an idea from seeing them all together. So, let me not forget to invite, I think I started to invite you to, to join the um, community. And you can find the link in uh, below the video. And uh, you can always find us on um, the Song of Stones Facebook and Instagram um, uh, accounts and uh, at songofstones.com. And you can sign up at any of those places and you can um, share your thoughts and, and um, if you've had experience making fires or um, sparking rocks or um, anything creative that you've been doing this year, um, this year of the dragon, this year of creativity, this year of fire. And in the meantime, I send you blessings of all good things and lots and lots of love. <laughs>